this question asks, what is the IUPAC name of the following molecule? So first up, I would just take stock of the molecule. Don't even look at the answer choices yet. We'll worry about the answer choices in a minute. First off, look at our molecule. We have two functional groups. We have a bromo group, which we know is very low on the um, totem pole for priorities. And then we have an alcohol group. So the first thing you need to do is kind of figure out which of the two groups is gonna have priority. Um, and so that's gonna be the alcohol group because it's higher up um, in the hierarchy of naming functional groups. So that helps a lot to know that this is gonna be kind of where we start thinking about like where is the parent chain and what are the locants that are gonna be applied. The functional group with the highest priority is gonna be the functional group that kind of dictates all of that. So we always wanna have the functional group with the highest priority on the longest possible chain. So in that case, um, the longest possible chain is gonna be something like this, where the alcohol is attached. The alcohol does not need to be attached to the one position. It can be on the two like it is here. Um, the key is that whatever it is attached to is the longest chain. Um, if you wanted to, you could have drawn it going this way as well. That's the exact same thing. Or if you wanted to draw it like this, that is also the same number of carbons. Um, and so it doesn't really matter too much like which carbons you include as long as they're like equivalent. All right, so what is the longest chain? Let's number it. One, two, three, four, five, six. So the longest continuous chain that has the alcohol attached is a six carbon chain. So that's helpful because then we can kind of think about what are our substituents. Okay, in this case, we have a methyl group right here, a methyl group right here, and then the bromo group. So three substituents to consider. Next up, you want to think about locants. And I've already kind of numbered this molecule with the correct locants. Um, you always want to have the highest priority functional group with the lowest possible locant. So the lowest possible locant that the alcohol, the alcohol can have is a two. And you just kind of number throughout the rest of the chain from there. So that means that I know I have a two methyl on my chain. I have a five methyl and I have a five bromo. So now I have all my pieces part. I've named my functional groups. I know what their locants are. So now the last thing is to put it all together. So the key here is to remember that you have to alphabetize. Here we have a bromo and we have two methyls. So the very first thing that's gonna go down is five bromo because the B of the bromo means it comes first. Okay, next we're gonna take care of the methyl. We have a two, five, and then we put in dimethyl. The di part does not get alphabetized, but we include it here to indicate there are two methyls. And then lastly, we're gonna add in the parent chain that includes the alcohol. So the parent chain is a hex an, and then at the end, we can indicate where the alcohol is located. And we know it's on the two position. So it's important to have that too, that we know where the alcohol is on the parent chain. All right, so as you can see, I kind of thought this all through before I even looked at any of the answer choices. So now hopefully we look at the answer choices and we find what we came up with. Um, and if we do, we can look, here's 5-bromo, here's 2-5-dimethyl, hexan 2 all. So answer choice D corresponds to the name that we came up with for this molecule.